So, hunger and fasting and one meal a day. So I have a secret for you to not feel hungry ever while you're fasting. And I'm just kidding, I wish I did because I don't think there is one. There's many things that you can do that I'm gonna share with you in this video, but first thing that we need to realize is that's inevitable that you're gonna feel hunger. As part of the process, part of the journey, part of the benefits actually of this. And if we can come to a, a place of being okay with that and seeing what the benefits are, we'll get the most out of it. So first of all, like I said, what are the benefits of it? Ask yourself that question because you'll come up with different answers than what I'm going to give you right now. But one of them is that you actually come to a better relationship with your body. You can more clearly feel the signals that your body might be giving you when you're not just stuffing food down all the time. That's one thing that I've always wanted to do is just feel more connected to my body, have a better relationship with my body, understand what my body needs in a better way and be able to honor what my body needs. And I've realized that with fasting you come at to such a much better relationship with your body that it's incredible, amazing, 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 amazing. Another one, number two, that I want to share with you is being okay with hunger. Like I said, being okay with being hungry. We don't need to be eating food every single minute that we feel a little bit of hunger. Because you know that a lot of times that hunger is emotional, right? If you go through a breakup, all you want to do is eat ice cream and candy and a bunch of shit. Right? A lot of times the hunger is emotional. Obviously there's physical and of course it, it's deeper than just that. I'm not just saying that that's all there is to hunger, but a lot of times that's what it is. So what if we can be okay with the hunger, feel the hunger, embrace the hunger, be okay with the hunger. You're not gonna die for going a few more hours without eating. It'll be okay, I promise. Uh, and then, a third one that I want to share with you, and this one's fascinating when I think about it. We think we crave foods all the time. We think we crave a meal and foods. But if you go long enough without eating, you might see what you're really craving. Let that sink in. What you're really craving. Is it more connection with those around you? Is it a deeper sense of fulfill fulfillment in life and with your job, your career, your purpose, a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning in your life? Is it more fun, more joy, more whatever? Being more of your true self, expressing more of yourself. Sometimes. When I heard that from a friend of mine, that was fascinating. Like we think we crave something and what if you're craving something else? I'm just gonna let that marinate there on your, on your mind, your consciousness and, and let you think about that one. What that one is for you. Uh, so now I'm gonna give you ideas as you're going through the hunger because I know it's not easy always to deal with that. So, first one, simple one, coffee and tea. Uh, they, green tea and coffee, they both have appetite suppressant qualities. So they, they'll help to actually suppress that deep like sense of like, I need to eat something right away. It does, it does truly help. Um, it's pretty, pretty amazing how that, that helps. Um, meditation, sometimes embrace the fact that you're going through that sense of hunger and use that time to go deeper into yourself and see what emotions and what's going on inside of you instead of always going outside for food and comfort. Try that, give that a try, give that a try. And more rest. The train's coming by and I'm not gonna stop the video because I don't like editing videos. So <laughs> we'll have some fun with the train, all right? I'll, I'll speak louder so you can hear me. Uh, the next one that I wanna share with you, I will hold on. It'll be quick, I promise. It's a short train. Um, is to actually rest. 
to rest a little more. You, your body's going through an adaptation. Your body's going through... In, in some ways it is kind of like a stressor to the body and we know stressors are good for the body sometimes when it's like a controlled kind of stress. Um, doesn't need to be controlled but stressors are good. That's why exercise is so good. Um, your body's going through an adaptation, so make sure you're resting and giving your body a chance to do what it needs to do to recover, rebuild, re regenerate, and give you all the benefits that this can give you. Uh, so, for example, if you you always had lunch, now you can take a short nap at lunch or do a little meditation at lunch. Use the extra time that you have now from not eating as often, not preparing as many foods, less dishes, I love that one because <laughs> I don't enjoy doing dishes as much. Um, so make sure you're resting when you're feeling that hunger. And on the opposite end of that spectrum, exercise is huge for when you're feeling hunger. And it sounds like counterintuitive, it sounds weird, but when you're hungry, if you do some light exercise, I can almost guarantee that you'll feel better and your hunger will go away. And it's fun to actually use the hormonal benefits that you have when you're hungry, when you're fasting, to get more out of your workout. And I'm not going to go into that now because that's a long topic, but you'll get more out of that too. Uh, let's see what else I wrote down. Music. Find some music that you love, sing and dance, because sometimes when you distract yourself with things that you love, you're not thinking about food all the time, you're not thinking about how hungry you are all the time. So another tip is to find a hobby that you love and use that. Use that to, I, I don't always recommend that people distract themselves, because I encourage you to feel the hunger and embrace the hunger, but if you need to distract yourself, because you're desperate for some food, but you want to keep going longer without eating, then um, music can be beautiful and helpful and amazing. Whether you like to sing or dance or just enjoy music in whatever way you'd like to enjoy music, when you're in the moment with the music, you're not thinking about food all the time. If it's music that you really love. Um, let's see what else. The last one, and I love this one is to do something that you're really passionate about. If you have something that gives you a deep sense of purpose and meaning and just contribution, or whether it's just for you, if it's art, whatever it might be, but it's something that you're very, very passionate about. You know that time just flies and you're not thinking about food. You're not thinking about how hungry you are. When I'm making videos, when I'm coaching clients, I'm not thinking about what I'm going to eat. Because I love what I do. I'm passionate about it. And I can go for hours without thinking about food if I'm doing what I love to do. So what I want to leave you with is find your fuel. It doesn't always need to be food. Find your fuel and use that to your advantage. Your passion is your fuel. What are you passionate about? Find that, use that to your advantage. And use that fuel to quote unquote, fight off the hunger. And you'll see amazing results. And the more I learn on this journey, the more I'll share with you. So I'll be back soon.